this is this is a pretty substantial one big head shakes I think it's the right kind oh he's heavy I'm gonna just hang on my heart is beating out of my chest oh my River Rats, I'm out here on this super duper remote river. I'm not sure how close the nearest house is to where we're at, but I promise you it's, it's not very close. And I have a bait straight down and I hope to repeat this process many, many times and hopefully catch a big fish. So let's go. We are at a little bit of a dilemma. The, uh, we brought quite what we thought were quite a few baits, but we are at least halfway through everything we have. And we should have brought crawlers. I thought about bringing crawlers, but the end result is we brought no crawlers. So I don't know what we're going to do for bait if we run out. It might be a kick back, relax, enjoy the campfire, and blow it on out of here in the morning. But hopefully between that point and this very moment, there's a, a really big fish interjected. And there's a variety of different kinds of big fish in this place. I don't know. It's neat. It's like Jurassic Park. I think we need to get moving. No nothing. Just us. And probably the pigs later. Wow, this is a gnarly looking Ben too. Is that a brush pile? There might actually be a brush pile. Uh, not much of one, I guess. Looks like most of it's on the bank. Is that like a 55 gallon drum on the, the sandbar? Yeah, I definitely don't want to look inside. Because bait's low, I'm giving myself a self prescribed one rod limit. Unless I see something amazing, or, you know, that once we get to camp, I'll probably run two or I'm somehow able to catch a little bait. So there's a little creek running in here. That's where bait things happen oftentimes. One of the coolest parts about this whole float is we're planning on camping at a private spillway, lock and dam. As the crow flies, we have like a mile As the curl flies. Yeah, it's every bit of two miles. Now, the more I look at it on here. Hopefully, we don't have to portage around the dam. Well, we found this tree. It wasn't hard to find because it's sticking out of the water. But on one side, it's five feet. On this side, it's about 15. The current's pushing right into it. And yeah, it is a little wonky on this side. To say I'm restricting myself to one rod limit, but I'm gonna put that bait. I'm gonna cut this bluegill in half, so I'll put out two rods. Cheated. I said I wasn't going to put a live bluegill down. And it took 30 seconds once I did. Another camo one. Suck it. I don't know. We've caught a handful today. And I don't know. This river's awesome. It keeps getting more and more awesome. I had a feeling it might be like this. and uh, But to see it in person, pretty dang awesome. It's just awesome. All right, I'm gonna let him go. See ya.
Yeah, it dropped off big time back there, but it's shallowing up over here. This river functions funny. The bank isn't that steep over here either, so we'll see. We'll see. That's all I know. We'll see. There's a chance. It's rising up a little bit. Mm, we're in 16 feet right here. There's enough water to hide a catfish. We'll see if it does hide a catfish. Definitely gonna drop that gross bluegill head down just to see what happens and probably gonna drop a live one down because I can't help myself. Uh, I was gonna say no flatheads here, but there's something. Damn. Damn. That ate the nasty bluegill head. Oh, he's in that other Look at. Oh, wow. That's more of what I want. Yep. So we have two fish on. Can't get that holder out of the holder. Wow, this went to chaos real quick. Yep. Yep. No! Busted me off. <sighs> wow, busted sixty, pulling drag like crazy. <sighs> I'm shaking. Oh yeah, I have a blue cat on. Well, that was kind of nuts. It was also weird how nothing had happened and then that rod gets hit and while that's going nuts that rod gets hit so i don't know i wonder if him pulling drag sawed it against this braid but we will never know it was big it was really big bad luck today it's like the best best day of bad luck ever. Just bad luck on big fish. Land all the little guys. Well, before all that pandemonium started, I was going to tell you about the fishing rods I'm using. And not using whisker seeker rods anymore. Man, I'm like shaking right now. That was really, really big. Uh, I got some ideas on different things I'm gonna do but in the meantime I built myself a set and I really like them so far the rods for sure I'm still getting used to these reels they put out a lot more drag than what I'm used to using so that might factor in I don't know I didn't think the drag was set that tight and I still don't think the drag set that tight so I don't know what happened 60 pound broke right at the hook and it hurts my feelings. That's that's all I really know for sure. It's been a while since I've had my feelings hurt like that. Well, we are at the dam. And I can hear it loud and clear. Which probably isn't a good sign for just paddling through it. I'm glad we got here with plenty of daylight to kind of evaluate We're either going to go over it or around it, and that's what we kind of got to figure out right now. It sounds mean, though. I'm going to say let's approach on the east side. What approach it on the east side. Because okay. from what I looking at the banks, the east side looks like the easier bank to portage if we have to. It's a little shallower slope. I still can't even talk very good after that fish. Sounds pretty mean, bud. I'm gonna bet this is gonna be a portaging thing. Yeah, we're gonna go investigate closer and see what we gotta do. 
I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of always wanted to run a set of rapids like that. But if I do, I would like to do it in a place where help would be quickly accessible. And this ain't one of them. So, as much as I think that bank is gonna suck to drag all our stuff up and around, I don't think we have any other choice. So I went and scoped the scene and it's precarious to say the least. Um, and it's gonna suck to haul everything up and send everything down, but it's a pretty cool spot. Looks fishy, we'll see, but we got some work to do. We did it, River Rats. We met, we, oh! <laughs> <laughs> You didn't break a hip, did you? No. Okay, good. We got all of this stuff and Chris over here from up that giant hill. We actually had to tie a rope and like trapeze down. I think that's the right word. But we made it. We were on the correct side of that. And I'm hoping there's some fish here. I'm going to poke around with the graph and stuff. We're either going to camp on this side or that side, I'm not sure which. This backwards current though, I think it'd make it tough to fish off the bank because you cast all your baits out this way and then they end up all in the same spot in this way, which that's not a bad spot, but it's tough to spread lines out. So we're gonna go look over there. Well, we made it from over there to over here on Trash Island. Yeah, it's pretty gross kind of sad but as far as how the current sets up below the lock I feel like this is our best shot at catching a big fish could be totally wrong but I feel good about it be nice be nice to have some redemption all right we're gonna we're gonna get everything set up well things have definitely quieted down had a few fish bites and stuff happen and smell it out but I'm probably gonna go to sleep here shortly and hopefully we we'll wake up to a clicker rolling that'd be sweet yep. I think I have them Felt them bounce off a log. I'm getting big old head shakes. Ooh, there's some power there. Okay. Ooh. I don't know what this is, but I, I want to find out. Okay. Oh, it's rubbing on something. Hop up over that edge, buddy. Where you at? He's right here. Oh, nice flathead. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, that's a dandy. What a way to wake up. beach him yeah this is a, a doozy as they say and uh, I don't know who they are I don't know you know necessarily what a doozy means but I mean I barely know what planet I'm on I just got woke up by a bait clicker in a tent out in the middle of nowhere but that was fun, and I would like to do it again. Right. Back to the water she goes, or he, whatever the case may be. Okay, amongst, releasing you amongst this mountain of trash. See you, buddy. Sweet. 
Good morning. No more action other than that really nice fish last night. And we got everything packed up and we're ready to head down river. We got, I don't know, two, three, four, 12 miles, somewhere in that range. And uh, got a little bit of bait left. I'm gonna try to pick a few more spots back or apart on our way down. Yay, catfish. It is pretty sad slash gross to see all the trash around here. Would be a pretty, pretty cool river if it wasn't for all that, but it is what it is. We picked up all our trash and a little bit more and I feel like that's all anybody could reasonably be expected of anybody. That's just my opinion. Ain't worth nothing. spot not very far if it's anything like yesterday this will not take very long so I'm hoping it's just like yesterday this stretch of river is completely isolated like covered by private property there's that lock that we went over and a lock on the bottom side so these fish should be really dumb might have just jinxed myself. We'll see though. Well, apparently today is not like yesterday because the baits have been down for 10 minutes and no nibbles yet, but we're going to keep moving. This is, this is a pretty substantial one. Big head shakes. I think it's the right kind. Oh, he's heavy. I'm gonna just hang on. My heart is beating out of my chest. Oh my. back the drag off after busting that one off yesterday so we're just gonna try to fight him like I probably should have done it the first one. But he's nice not a showstopper but pretty dang nice fish well he's hooked right on the end of the schnoot come here they're so powerful and cool looking. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> Look at him, everybody. I like him a lot. That's the last thing that bluegill saw right there. I think I probably worn that joke out, but me personally, I get a kick out of it. Yeah, this is fun one, fun size. I guess I couldn't ask for much more. Well, we might have another one. Pull it down. That was cold. Oh, oh popped out of his mouth. I'm assuming a little guy. You take my bait? I bet he did. Yeah. Excited. This might be my last spot. It is choked full of timber in like 25 feet of water. And with the current the way it is, it's pretty much one of them where I'm gonna toss in there and I have zero expectations of getting anything back. So hopefully a fish eats it and I can fight him out of there. Well, you got that one for the moment. Oh, the little blue. Man, my lap. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of little jerks. Wonder how many of uh, 
the bites I've been getting are those and I just whiff them because they don't have it in their mouth. That's what I'm going to tell myself. I got one going right now. Not convinced he's big either. As the crow flies, we are 1.3 miles away, according to Onyx, which means by the time we wind around, it's probably more like two miles. That's still far enough for me. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're going two to three miles an hour, so we got an hour of floating. I think that's a good rationale to get moving. Especially because we got bit right away and then it slowed down. This is our last spot. Not a great spot, but probably the best spot we're going to see between here and where we take out. So I decided to toss some baits in there just to see what would happen. But if, th if this is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. It was uh, quite the adventure, to say the least, even by my fairly adventurous standards. There was definitely a level of suck, and no adventure is a real adventure without some level of suck. So we got that box checked, but appreciate you taking time to watch. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant.